What's up guys, we're back once again with some more Baby Metal. Obviously, for all those who don't know, they are the impossibly heavy metal rock band from Japan. This one's called Gimme Chocolate, the official. So, this one was released 10 years ago, and they were constructed as a band, a rock band, in 2010. So, it's nearly, you know, the same age as the actual band group themselves, but this one should be crazy, guys, because I just typed in Baby Metal, and it's their first ever album. Okay, it's from their first ever album. But I typed in Baby Metal, and this was the first song that popped up, guys. All right, 190 million views. So obviously, one of the biggest bands in the world. This one's called Gimme Chocolate. Don't know what that means, guys, but yeah. Drop a comment down below. Shout out to all my Baby Metal fans. I've only reacted to two songs by them, and each song has just given me crazy love, so I appreciate the support. I love to see the fans getting fired up as well. It gets me fired up for this, so... Let's get it, bruh. Let's go. So, from what I got from this, guys, is the sound is good. It sounds like their new stuff as well. The first ever album, so it's only, like, what, 2014 they put out their album, even though they were, you know, constructed in, like, 2013 or 2010, I mean. So, waited a long time, but the flipping crowd was still huge. Did they have crowds this big as well, even back then, guys? They probably gathered a big crowd before they put out their album. They probably put out a lot of singles before they put out their biggest album, their first album, right? Bro, they got, this is the craziest music, bro. I swear in like Asia, they have like the most <laughs> different kind of music. So this one is like crazy. So they have like almost like plate, like chain plate ma mail armor on, like the Romans used to have or something. A little bit different from what they wear nowadays. The kind of maid outfit, right? That everybody knows that baby metal wear. And like, bro, the flipping, the actual... Oh, I messed that up, guys. They don't wear... That's Bandmade. Sorry. They're also Japanese. But Baby Metal, I've reacted twice. And Bandmade are sick as well. But they're kind of a similar... I feel like they're similar in style. But Baby Metal are heavier metal. Okay? Bandmade are more like rock music. But Baby Metal, this is like heavy rock music. They gotta go from like sweet singing type of thing to like just crazy heavy metal. This is wild. Let's go. Bro, they literally sound like metallic.
Man, their stuff is crazy heavy. This is like some straight up Metallica, like Slipknot type stuff. This is just like crazy. Actually, it's much heavier than Slipknot, guys. This is really heavy music. And we're gonna find out the difference between Bandmate and Baby Metal at the end, guys. Cause I actually get those two confused quite a bit. Dude, their voices are crazy. Their voices switch between this like sweet voice to like that flipping crazy heavy metal sound. It's just, bro, it like throws you off a little bit. It's crazy. <laughs> See you in the mosh pit. <laughs> oh, that's that is hilarious. So yeah, so obviously Baby Metal, like literally the biggest band, one of the biggest bands in Japan, like crazy famous. That one was called Gimme Chocolate. 190 million views, guys. So I want to see you guys because Baby, so Baby Metal and. Obviously, like I said, they're bandmates. They're completely different bands, guys. But bandmates seem to have like a somewhat similar get up. You know what I mean? They have a somewhat similar get up. So, bandmate is a Japanese rock band formed in 2013, consisting of singer, guitarist, lead singer, bassist, and drummer. So they have five members. Okay, the band combines a rock sound with a made image modeled by Chinese made cafe by Japanese made cafes. Okay. They're currently signed to Pony Canyon. Now, Baby Metal, guys, they're completely different. They're a Japanese kawaii metal band consisting of Su Susuka Nakamoto and Moa Chichin. Uh, bro, I think they're phenomenal. Momoka Usaki, and the band is produced by Koba Metal from the Amuse Talent Agency. So, they're much older than Bandmate, okay? But they have three members, okay? So what happened to Baby Metal Death? So in 2013, materials fell from... Holy hell! So in 2017, the guitarist Kami Band, uh, Kami Band guitarist Miko Fujoka fell from an observation desk deck. He died from his injuries on January. Baby Metal released a eulogy on Twitter January 9th commemorating his work to the band. So he was the guitarist. Oh my goodness. So obviously... Baby Metal, they've had a crazy upbringing. So they are 24. So there's three members, guys, and they're both still pretty young, guys. So Baby Metal broke up. Yui Metal cited her ongoing health struggles combined with a desire to pursue f solo endeavors last year. After Yui Metal's exit, the band continued touring as a duo. So oh yeah, they still they're still touring, guys. But like they've been around literally for like 12 years, guys. That's cr that's a crazy crazy long time. So. Let me know what you think, guys. I love you all. Much love to Baby Metal as well. They were in a brand new song with uh, other rappers that I reacted to, and it was phenomenal. Other Thai rappers, which was epic. But yeah, my Baby Metal with F here on Body Slam. So yeah, I love to see. Go check that reaction. That was insane, guys. I love that as well. Let me know your thoughts, guys. I'm going to give that one an 8 out of 10. I actually like the heavy metal sound, but the kind of sweet sounding part, you know, that's more for, I suppose, uh, different audience, I would say. I love you guys, and I'll see you on the next one, man. Peace.